Do you have headlights that look like this? Cloudy, dingy, yellow. It's a safety hazard, right? And very unsightly on the front of your vehicle. What if I could talk, what if I told you that not only can we restore this, but we can actually protect it altogether and prevent it from happening. So this is a set of headlights that we will uh, re fully restore and install paint protection film on. But today we're going to be working on this nice Dodge Durango RT. This is uh, here for a full bumper uh, PPF and headlights. But today I'm going to show you how to prevent yellowing and oxidation from happening to your headlights with CCC Next Gen PPF. Okay guys, so first thing, you already know the deal, we got to prep the surface. So we, we have already washed the front of the vehicle. I'm just going to spray the light down and just kind of wipe around the edge work, making sure that there's no other dirt around my edges. And I'm just going to squeegee from top to bottom to get any lint or dust off of it. Spray it one more time. And we're going to bulk or custom cut these uh, these headlights. So what I'm going to do is just air peel it. Sorry if I'm sniffling. My allergies are kind of bothering me today. Don't need a lot of uh, slip solution. I'm going to slap it on. Just slap. All right. Spray the surface so the squeegee can slide. And let's uh, put it in place. And you just get all the moisture and all of the water out. There we go. So one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come right here. I want it to go ahead and tack. I ain't got time to be waiting. Rinse all that slip solution out with just plain tap water. And see how it just locks on down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this film and I'm going to pull it towards me. Because as you see, we got some fingers here and a little bit down here below. So what I'm gonna do is over here, I'm on the edge of this PPF, I'm going to spray tack, because I want it to tack here in just a second. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and pull, and you see that those fingers went away. And while it's like that, I'm going to squeegee towards me. There we go. There we go. So we need to cut a relief here because of the body line on the, on the bumper here. Cut that so it will be relieved. Spray some more uh, just plain water up in here just to rinse out the slip. I think this bumper is still kind of getting in my way. I'm just pressing and holding, trying to activate the glue. Oop. And cut another little relief right here. Don't cut the paint. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just, because I want to uh, go ahead and speed this up just for the video, I'm going to use my hybrid solution. Uh, and this is a 32-ounce sprayer you can get from your hardware store. I have 2 milliliters of uh, Johnson Johnson baby soap in it and 150 milliliters of 99% uh, alcohol. So the alcohol is going to really speed up get sniper nozzle. So it's really going to speed up the dry, uh, the dry on this. So I'm just going to kind of spray up my edges here. And you see how it's already wanting to go ahead and tack with just that little bit. I'm pressing kind of firm with my squeegee. And if this doesn't want to stick here, and maybe it won't, it just needs to dry out a little bit, which now might take a little bit longer because I sprayed a lot of solution in here. Nope, there we go. But yes, sometimes, uh, you know, 
you have to watch water dry. You can't always speed it up. In this case, I'm trying to, to force speed it or force dry it. This here is happening because of the lift from the body panel. So we're going to pull back a little bit just to relieve the tension and okay, I'm lay it down. There we go. So we'll come back in just a few minutes whenever the film dries out a little bit more. And uh, we'll go ahead and do our whole trim around it. Hey guys, so we're back. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do a trim on the headlight here. Uh, the film is, has dried out now. Uh, what I did is I did the other headlight and the full front bumper with PPF. And, and now that that's done, now I can come back and address uh, the edge work and everything on these headlights. So first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to come on down in here and uh, any of these little air pockets, I'm just, or not air pockets, but just kind of where fingers were, I'm just going to go ahead and press them down. There's still a little bit of moisture right here, but once I get rid of uh, this piece here, uh, that should lay down. So I'm just kind of going around, making sure all my edges are tacked down and looking good, and they do. But they are. So I got a carbon blade here. And uh, let's get ready to do some slicing and dicing. Get that air bubble out. There we go. All right, let's go. So just gonna come in here and ju just slightly score the film. I hope so I can get a better grip. Come around. Now I'm going to follow down on this dip right here, where this air pocket is, the, the shape of the headlight has a dip. And I'm just going to do the slightest relief cut right there. I'm going to round it off. Okay. Make sure that looks good. On over here. Let's get rid of this excess. There we go. So it looks like I did not cut through the film right here. Um, off camera, I just snapped my blade, so the blade wasn't sharp. So now I'm going to go back and gently go back over my area. Of course, you always want to make sure you have a sharp blade. That way you're not putting too much pressure um, on it and uh, risk cutting through the film and thus scratching the surface. So this here should peel on out. There we go. Perfect. Come here and pull the weight. We'll come on around here. And we'll get this here. So I'm gonna stop right there because you can see with my blade, uh, the angle I'm at, um, I'm not comfortable here. So I'm going to reposition. We'll start up here. Again, um, you know, the blade is, is here and to make this cut at this angle, I'm going to have to lift up on my blade at a different angle, and you risk scratching. So I'm going to come around here. Okay, so ju we're just going to go ahead and peel this back. Okay, so that right there's where I stopped that. I'm going to come on in here. And make this cut. Perfect. There we go. Right here on this corner, um, 
I don't want to leave this little tip here. So I'm going to kind of use my fingernail since it's got a curve to it. And I'm just going to use my fingernail as like a guide. And now you see the film lays down perfectly because uh, it's not, it doesn't have that pressure or that was being created by uh, this trim piece. So all you got to do at this point is just uh, use your heat gun and do some post heat to lock down the edges. And that's pretty much it. That is how you prevent your headlights from yellowing and oxidizing from the sun's UV rays. And that's how you keep them looking new for years to come. Uh, is with paint protection film, PPF. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Questions, comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.